So most of you know that I don't buy new gear very often, right? Especially expensive gear. But last week I bought some new toys. Yeah, I'm gonna have to eat rice and beans again for a whole month, but I don't care. No, it wasn't that expensive actually, but before I show you what I bought, I want to tell you why I bought what I bought. Look, when I started studying photography, I also started a quest. A quest for the best gear, the best camera, but also the best lenses. And every year I felt like I needed to upgrade because I wanted the best autofocus, fast autofocus, sharper photos, more detail in my photos. And that quest ended or peaked a few years after I graduated when I bought the Sigma 35mm 1.4. And it was sharp, man, it was sharp. But it was so sharp that I actually started to blur my images in Photoshop because it looked too sharp in my opinion too digital if that makes sense, too sterile. And yeah, from then on, I completely turned around. 180. That was dumb, but okay. It's also not a 180, it's a 360. Anyway, so yeah, I didn't feel like upgrading every year anymore. Quite the opposite actually, because I started to buy cheaper lenses, budget options, lenses that weren't perfect, decent lenses, but far from perfect, yeah. And to this day, I'm still using decent budget lenses because in my opinion, 90% of the time, those G Masters and L Glass, it's just a waste of money. In most cases, the viewer and even clients, they don't care, it's you the photographer, the videographer who cares, and sometimes a bit too much even. Yeah, it's true. Now, that's okay, of course. If you feel like that's what you want, tech sharp images, super fast autofocus, superb detail in your images, that's fine, totally fine, of course. But most people, most photographers, most videographers don't need a lens like that, you know? I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again, not to brag, but to make a point, my work has been published and I've won awards for projects shot with old manual focus secondhand lenses that I bought for a few hundred bucks and most of them had several imperfections. Scratches, dust, haze, the whole shebang. But I've started to appreciate those imperfections more and more every year. Also, you know, wanting everything to look perfect, it's just not healthy. It really isn't. It messes your brain up. And maybe you've watched the videos. In the last couple of months, I've had the chance to test some of those new, cheaper anamorphic lenses that you see popping up everywhere. And they're also not perfect. Distortions, softer image, weird flares, but I like it. I like those imperfections because it gives character to your images. I even have this super cheap Mikey 25 millimeter for my Canon M50. I made a review last year, I think, and I called it quirky because it has a ton of imperfections, but I actually like it. It's far from perfect, but those quirks give the images character. Imperfections make those images look beautiful in their own way. You know what I mean? Not sterile, not perfect. I hope you know what I mean. It almost turns your digital camera into an old vintage film camera. Yeah, I know what you're thinking now. I should start shooting film, right? I know, I've thought about it, but I'm not ready yet, mentally and financially. So yeah, maybe next year. But anyway, yeah, so I would highly, highly recommend you to check out some Secondhand gear, vintage gear, old gear, even if that gear has imperfections. That's the whole point of the video here. A little bit of haze, a scratch, doesn't matter. If it doesn't take the attention away from your images, it's fine. And look, guys, images made with old scratched up vintage lenses can win awards and get published just as much as images made with $3,000 G Masters. Now, wait, before you start commenting, um, <laughs> I know that, for example, if you're a professional sports photographer, you're probably better off with a modern, fast, accurate autofocus lens, of course. But that's not the point of this video. Yeah, so I bought two new old lenses, two vintage lenses, a Pentax 50mm 1.7 and a 28mm 2.8. Manual, of course, not perfect at all. They have been cleaned and everything, but there's still a few scratches, a little bit of haze on some of the elements but nothing that will affect the images, or at least not in a distracting way. And yeah, I'm gonna use these a lot over the next few weeks. We're going to some really cool places. Can't wait to show you the results. So yeah, guys, appreciate the imperfections, embrace the imperfections. Wanting everything to look perfect all the time is just not healthy, it will mess your brain up. And the problem is, of course, that we are getting brainwashed here on YouTube, social media. Everything has to be faster, sharper, higher quality, higher resolution. So maybe from now on, 
try to go the other way. Maybe you like it. I know I do. So yeah, there you go. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.